Hello doctors, welcome back to the Medico Tube. In this detailed NEAT PG analysis, we will discuss in depth the possibilities for candidates scoring between 300 and 400 marks, looking carefully at what government medical colleges, DNB institutes, NBE diploma seats, private medical colleges, and deemed universities may offer across different categories. If you have visited our channel for the first time, do subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the important updates and cutoff details related to NEET PG, SS Counseling first. Once again, we are telling you, in this comprehensive NEET PG analysis, we will go step by step through the realistic seat possibilities, fee ranges, and state-wise options for candidates scoring between 300 and 400 marks so that anyone in this score band can clearly understand where they stand, what they can expect, and how to approach counselling with a clear strategy. The discussion will be organised into two logical segments, one covering 350 to 400 marks, and the second covering 300 to 350 marks, because even though this seems like a small difference in score, it can completely change the rank range and hence the seat availability and budget requirements. Based on last year's relationship between marks and rank, as well as detailed feedback from candidates about the difficulty level of the paper and the trickiness of the options in the exam, a score of 400 marks corresponded roughly to an All India rank of 62,500, 350 marks corresponded to about 85,000 rank, and 300 marks was around 1,11,000 rank, which was just enough to clear the 50 percentile. Qualifying Cutoff for General Category Candidates If we start with Government Medical College possibilities in this score range, for General Category, OBC Category, EWS Category, and even SC Category candidates, the sad reality is that no clinical branch was possible at this score range, even if someone scored on the higher side close to 400 marks. The competition for clinicals in government colleges is so high that these ranks fall far outside the closing positions. The only major exception is for ST category candidates, who could get almost all clinical branches except the highly competitive ones like radiology, dermatology, general medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, and pediatrics, which were still closing at much higher ranks. Moving to DNB seats, Last year's round 3 cutoff data tells a similar story. For general, OBC, EWS, and SC candidates in this rank range, no core clinical branches were available in DNB either, because even in private DNB hospitals, the clinical cutoffs tend to be much higher. For ST candidates, however, DNB openings were available in most branches except radiology, dermatology, general medicine and obstetrics gynecology. It is important to note that DNB tuition fees in private sector hospitals remain fixed at 1.25 lakh rupees per year, and the only place where reservation benefits apply is in government DNB institutes. When we look at NBE diploma courses, which last year offered 8 diploma subjects in total, the round 3 cutoffs indicate that general, OBC, and EWS candidates could expect options like Diploma in Family Medicine and Diploma in Anesthesia, SC candidates could get a wider range, and ST candidates could get all diploma branches except Radiology. Now, when we move to private medical colleges and deemed universities, the scenario changes because here seat availability is more about budget capacity rather than pure rank. Several states in India are open states for private counselling, meaning they allow any NEET PG qualified candidate to participate regardless of their MBBS college location or domicile, as long as they meet basic eligibility. These include states where you can apply for both NRI quota and open quota seats. In deemed universities, the previous year's cutoffs can be grouped by fee budget ranges, for example, in the 25 lakh per year range, one can see up to which rank and for which branches seats were available. Similarly, there are clear patterns for 30 lakh, 35 lakh, 40 to 45 lakh, and above 50 lakh per year fee ranges. 
for candidates in the 350 to 400 marks range, corresponding to around 62,000 to 85,000 ranks. Some branches like radiology and dermatology are practically out of reach in low-budget options because the starting annual tuition fee for these branches was around 60 lakh per year, and in certain states like Rajasthan, Karnataka, and Maharashtra, official annual fees in some colleges were as high as 1 crore 35 lakh rupees, which means a total budget for three years of more than 4 crore rupees, and this is the official fee, not a donation or capitation amount. Colleges are not allowed to increase fees beyond the notified amount, but they may reduce it if seats remain vacant after initial rounds, which is a legal negotiation process that sometimes happens when very high fee seats do not get takers. For radiology and dermatology in this score range, the realistic path is through NRI quota or management quota in states like Andhra Pradesh, NRI quota, Bihar, NRI Quota, Haryana, NRI Quota, Maharashtra, Institutional Quota and NRI Quota, Karnataka, Institutional Quota also called Q Quota and NRI Quota, Telangana, Rajasthan, Management Quota, Madhya Pradesh, NRI Quota, and also through deemed universities under management or NRI Quota. In certain minority institutions, Candidates who belong to the respective minority community may get the benefit of a slightly lower rank cutoff, though the fees remain the same. General medicine is similar in pattern, mostly in high-budget NRI or management quota seats in the same states and deemed universities. Pediatrics and obstetrics gynecology have slightly wider availability, for example, without NRI quota, they could be found in Bihar in some high-fee colleges, in Haryana under NRI or high-fee management quota, in Karnataka under institutional or NRI quota, in Maharashtra under institutional quota, for those with Maharashtra MBBS or domicile, and NRI quota for others, in Telangana under NRI quota, in Rajasthan under management quota, in West Bengal in high-fee private colleges, and in Puducherry in certain open colleges. Budgets for these branches started from around 35 lakh rupees per year and could go up to 75 lakh rupees per year with occasional reductions through negotiation. Orthopedics and respiratory medicine were somewhat more accessible, available in open states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Puducherry, West Bengal, Rajasthan, and also in deemed universities, as well as in NRI quota of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, and some restricted eligibility seats in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Budgets here started from 25 lakh per year in states like Uttar Pradesh and went up to 60 lakh per year in high-fee institutions. General surgery, emergency medicine, and ophthalmology could be obtained in this rank range in open states such as Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Puducherry, West Bengal, Rajasthan, Haryana, and in certain deemed universities in Himachal Pradesh, with fees starting from 20 lakh per year and going up to 40 lakh per year. ENT and anesthesia were among the cheapest clinical options, with annual fees starting from 10 lakh to 25 lakh and some cases going up to 30 lakh per year. Now, if we shift to the 300 to 350 marks range, which corresponds to approximately 85,000 to 1 lakh 10,000 ranks, the situation changes further. Here, for radiology, budgets started from 75 lakh rupees per year and could easily cross to crore rupees for the full three years, and availability was mainly in NRI or management quota in Rajasthan and Karnataka. General medicine started from around 60 lakh rupees per year with opportunities in Rajasthan, Karnataka, deemed universities, Bihar, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Maharashtra, Telangana, and West Bengal, where extremely high fees make more seats available. Pediatrics and obstetrics gynecology in this range required budgets of 50 to 55 lakh per year and were available in similar states. Orthopedics and respiratory medicine were slightly cheaper, starting at 40 lakh per year, 
and could be accessed through minority quota benefits in Uttar Pradesh Management Quota or in West Bengal, Haryana, deemed universities, Rajasthan, and certain All India Quota seats with lower fees but very high management quota fees in the same colleges. General Surgery, Emergency Medicine, and Ophthalmology had starting fees from 30 lakh per year in states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Puducherry, West Bengal, Rajasthan, and deemed universities, while ENT and anesthesia remained the most affordable, with some colleges charging only 16 lakh per year plus hostel fees, keeping the three-year total budget under 50 lakh rupees. In all these scenarios, one must remember that the fee variation is huge because the rank range covers many thousands of candidates and because seat demand changes every year. A branch that was available last year at a certain rank and budget might not be available this year due to shifting preferences. Also, every seat in every category, whether NRI quota, management quota, institutional quota, or government quota, is allotted only through the official online counseling process, and while physical document verification may happen offline in some states, choice filling and allotment are always online, so there is no direct seat purchase, no offline seat blocking, and no legitimate way for anyone to bypass the process. The only influence possible is fee negotiation when colleges realize that their very high fee seats are not getting takers, but even then, you must first have an allotment through the counseling system before you can approach a college for such negotiation. Finally, if we looking on summary, for NEET PG candidates scoring between 300 and 400 marks, corresponding to roughly ranks from 62,500 to around 1,10,000, the admission picture changes drastically depending on category, budget, and state-level counselling rules. In government medical colleges, clinical branches remain out of reach for general, OBC, EWS, and SC candidates at these scores, with the only significant exception being ST. Candidates who can access most clinical branches except the most competitive ones like radiology, dermatology, general medicine, obstetrics, gynecology, and pediatrics, which close at much higher ranks, in DNB seats, even in private hospitals, these premium branches remain closed for most, though ST candidates again have more access. NBE diplomas offer a few affordable openings in subjects like anesthesia and family medicine for general, OBC, and EWS candidates, while SC and ST candidates can get a wider range, yet still not radiology. The private and deemed university sector offers the real openings, with branch and budget patterns following a clear hierarchy, ENT and anesthesia being the cheapest clinicals at about 10 to 25 lakh rupees per year, ophthalmology, general surgery, and emergency medicine in the 20 to 40 lakh range, orthopedics and respiratory medicine slightly higher, pediatrics and obstetrics, gynecology starting from 35 lakh and going up to 75 lakh, general medicine mostly in the 60 to 90 lakh band, and radiology or dermatology often exceeding 1 crore 35 lakh per year in top demand states like Rajasthan, Karnatak, and Maharashtra, access to these seats is possible mainly via NRI quota, management quota, or institutional quota in open states such as Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, Karnatak, Maharashtra, Telangana, Haryana, West Bengal, Himachal Pradesh, and Puducherry, and in deemed. Universities, with minority quota giving slight rank relaxation for eligible candidates, for the lower end of the score band, around 300 to 350 marks, budgets rise further, with radiology starting near 75 lakh per year and pediatrics or obstetrics gynecology above 50 lakh, pushing most affordable clinical options toward anesthesia, ENT, and occasionally ophthalmology. While official state-notified fees cannot be exceeded, they can sometimes be reduced. If high-fee seats remain vacant, though such reductions only happen after allotment through the official counselling system, crucially, every seat in every category is allotted online through state or MCC portals, with no legal offline seat blocking or direct purchase, making realistic branch selection, careful choice filling, 
and financial preparedness the key pillars of securing a seat in this score range. See you in the next video. Till then take care and keep watching the Medico Tube.